In this demo, we're going to do a quick run through of Post Cheetah. We're going to go over all the features um, and basically how you can easily use the application to do SEO on your website using AI. So right when you register for Post Cheetah, you're going to land on the website list. Um, so from here, you can add a website or you can manage your websites. Uh, we have keyword groups, content clusters, uh, your content schedule and your reports all from here for every website. So any keywords you've saved are going to be in your groups. Any content ideas you've saved will be in the clusters. Any content you have scheduled will be in the schedule. And then any automated reports will be in the reports section. So when you hit add a website, uh, it's actually going to open up the website dialog box and you're going to go through these, these steps to add a website. So i um, just going to run you through that real quick on a website we already connected. So if I hit edit, I can also change these features. So basically, you give the URL for the website, you select the language, the type of website, the time zone. This is going to be for when we publish content. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Um, this is where you can connect WordPress or Shopify. So by doing so, you can automatically post to your WordPress or Shopify website through Post Cheetah. So you can schedule posts. So if I produce 100 pieces of content, um, I can schedule those out directly from Post Cheetah um, to my WordPress or Shopify website. You can also post it directly right when the content's done. So we can configure that here. Uh, we have quick tutorials on how to connect either one. Only takes a few minutes. Uh, so then if we go next, this is where we're going to connect our Google Search Console. So um, by hitting this button, it's going to take us to Google. You're going to you know, verify your account and you'll connect your website. So um, using Google Search Console, if you have a Search Console account, what we can do is we can actually do automated reporting for your tracked keywords. Uh, we also do full SEO reports and this feeds our AI uh, more data about your website so that we can do um, all the, the AI tools uh, a little bit better. So it's just some, you know, a great way to feed our machine learning so that um, we optimize all of our tools for your website. So go ahead and finish here. Uh, we'll start with the keyword research. So if I come here to discover keywords, uh, the website I'm working on here is a tree service website, a local one here in Miami. So I'm just going to type tree service Miami. And the way this keyword research works is it's actually using Google data with machine learning. So it's going to learn about your website and it's going to come up with keywords that they feel are good for your website um, and that you can rank for and that actually have, um, you know, pretty good search volume as well. So that, that's important. Um, so this is sort of a limited list. There's not going to be a whole lot of keywords related to tree service in Miami. So, um, but these are probably the best ones you're going to find. Um, so it does a really good job of sorting that. So uh, if I hit on this first keyword here, it's going to pull up a full analysis of that keyword. Uh, we have a proprietary keyword difficulty score. Um, it's going to show you search volume trends um, for, you know, for this, this keyword. So we have a hurricane season here in Miami. So a lot of people like to get tree work around this time of year. It makes sense. Uh, and then it's going to analyze the top websites, um, uh, you know, for that, that are ranking in Google. And it's going to actually give you um, the amount of words that that page is ranking with, right? So this is just going to give you an average word count. And then you have a, a really good idea of how many words your, your content should be when you go to publish that content and generate that content, where you're going to have a good chance of ranking in Google. So um, once we've discovered some keywords, uh, we can go ahead and save those to keyword groups. So we've already done that here. And uh, here's some of the keywords we've saved um, for this uh, website. So from here, you can do a few things. If I want to add a keyword, I can come here and I can just add one directly. I can import them via CSV. So if I have a bunch of keywords I'm already tracking, I can go ahead and just import them here. And then if I want to generate content um, for these keywords, all I have to do here is hit content ideas. So by doing so, it's going to open up our content discovery tab. So um, you can actually just come to this tab and type a keyword and do this uh, manually as well. But basically when you get to this tab, um, you're going to have five different categories of content ideas, right? And this again is using machine learning. Uh, we're taking data from Google. Uh, we're taking data from your website and we're mixing that with AI to come up with some great article ideas for your website, which uh, are going to rank for that keyword. So, um, the difference between these categories, the relevant post ideas is just going to be what the AI feels is most relevant and most likely to rank question style posts, uh, you know, questions that people might ask about your particular keyword, um, list style posts, you know, listicle style posts, top 10 ways, top five, et cetera, uh, creative based posts. This is where we tell the AI to get a little creative. 
So if you want to just kind of come up with something a little bit out of the box, this is a great option. And then Google Suggestions actually um, is, is taking questions that people are asking in Google um, and formatting them in a way that makes sense for a blog post, um, which is actually a really effective way to rank. So this is actually a really great option uh, for someone who just wants to start um, you know, producing content really quickly that, that's going to start bringing traffic. Uh, this is going to show you what people are searching for for that particular keyword, and you can start generating content around that uh, very quickly. So we do give you a, a few different options um, in terms of categories for different content that you can generate. Um, and once you find some content you like, um, basically you can come here. So like what is you know tree trimming law in Florida, right? This is something people are searching for. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new cluster here. I'm going to call this tree trimming. I'm going to create that cluster. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and add this keyword or this uh, content idea to that cluster. Um, are trees supposed to be trimmed? I mean, you know, maybe that's not a great one. Let's keep looking. How much does it cost to trim a tree in Florida? People might be looking for that. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Uh, what is the average cost for tree trimming? Who is responsible for cutting overhang tree branches in Florida? I can tell you this is a hot topic. So uh, we'll go ahead and add that to our uh, keyword cluster here as well. So content cluster, I mean. So once we've added some keywords, we can come over here to our content clusters. So um, these are all the ideas that we've added. So we have um, several ideas we've added. Uh, and then now you have options, right? So now you can determine how do I want to generate this content? So we offer a few different options. You can either uh, send it to a pro professional copywriter. So we have professional copywriters on our team that are ready to handle these orders. These are SEO trained copywriters. Um, and basically you can give them additional instructions. We'll tell them what keywords we want this post to focus on, uh, what URL we want it to uh, link to in the article. So, you know, where do we want to drive traffic to? Um, we can also give it the length, right? So we're going to tell them, you know, we want this to be a thousand word article, 1500 word, 2000 word article. And we actually will give you a recommended word count based on those websites that are ranking in Google already. Um, and you know, you're just going to send that to a content specialist. Uh, right now we just have our default content specialist tab, which we'll send to any specialist on our team. Uh, you can also add images. So if you have, um, if you want to have our copywriter go and actually source images for you, um, these will be actually professional images, um, that they're going to find online. They're going to source those. They're going to add that to your article. Um, and if you hit submit, what's going to happen is it's actually going to generate. Oh, so Mr field here, but if I hit submit, it's actually going to generate an essay outline for you. Um, and then this is something that you can then edit and send to the copywriter, right? Or if you like the way it turned out, you can just send it to them directly. Um, so the AI will actually take care of that for you. So you can see here, uh, it's generated a brief, uh, I can regenerate that I can edit these if I if I want to, and then I can go ahead and submit that to the copywriter. So uh, the whole system works off of credits. So um, depending on the plan that you um, purchase, or if you just have a free plan, you're going to get a certain amount of credits. And then using those credits, um, you can then order content or images for your order. So if, if I go back to clusters, um, I can now show you guys the generate post via AI option. So if I, if I hit generate this post via AI, um, this is going to be um, your AI option to generate this content. And this is going to be a lot uh, cheaper in terms of credit. So, um, you know, if you're actually using a real copywriter, it's going to be a lot more because there's, there's human work involved. But if we're just using AI, it's going to be a lot cheaper. And depending on your plan, you can actually purchase credits um, as you need them as well. So if you run out of credits for your plan, you don't necessarily have to upgrade to the next plan, you can actually just purchase more credits. And um, it's, it's very similar to if I'm uh, sending this to um, a human copywriter, but we do have a few more options like tone. So you can actually select several of these tones. Um, or you can just select SEO optimized, which is sort of, you know, what's going to be best for SEO, you know, according to the AI, we can also select the length. Um, if we select the images option here, these are actually going to be images generated by AI. So AI, you know, is pretty good at generating images, sometimes they come out a little wonky, but um, you know, again, it's going to be a lot less than if we have a copywriter go and find those images for you. Uh, this is going to actually add um, alt tags for your images as well. And you also have the option here to hire pro writers to review and edit your article so that it passes AI filters and, and you know, just make sure it's written properly and uh, has proper, um, you know, SEO uh, 
optimization as well, although the AI does a really good job of that, which I'm going to show you as well. So if I go ahead and hit submit here, it's going to do the same thing, I'm going to generate an essay outline. Uh, we've already seen this with um, what's happening with the pro writer um, with with our copywriter. So it's going to generate an essay outline, except this time that essay outline is going to be sent to the AI, not to a copywriter. So now that our brief is done, uh, again, we can edit this or we can just submit it or regenerate it as needed. And once we submit that, uh, you're going to get an email when this is ready. So uh, it's going to take a few minutes just depending on the length of the article or if you're sending it to a copywriter, it's going to take a few days. Um, but if you're sending it through AI, it's, it should only take a few minutes. When that's ready, we're going to send you an email notification. You're also going to get a notification here in your dashboard. And uh, if when the order's ready, you're going to go over here to orders and you're going to see the uh, orders that you've sent out. So um, whether you sent it to a copywriter or using AI or, or having a copywriter review an AI order, you're going to go ahead and see them here in the orders tab. So if I just go ahead and look at a piece of content we've already developed here. So um, this was generated 100% with AI. Um, we didn't do any additional work to it. And basically what we do is we give you a, a content uh, SEO score. So we're letting you know you know, based on this score, what are the chances this article has of um, really being optimized really well uh, for SEO? So we're going to give you a recommended word count, again, based on um, pages that are ranking for that particular keyword. Uh, we're also going to give you a heading count recommendation, paragraph count, and image count recommendation. Uh, alongside that, we're going to give you a few more recommendations, just general SEO, um, you know, adding focus keywords to meta descriptions, um, title tags, H1, H2 tags alt tags, uh, et cetera. And we're also going to give you some additional keywords that we feel you should add to the content just to give you a, an additional chance of ranking. Uh, we combine all that to, to create this SEO score. So the higher this goes, um, the more optimized your article is, the better chance it has of ranking. Um, so if we just go ahead and look at what the AI generated here. Um, so obviously this title was generated via AI. Uh, the meta descriptions generated via AI, I can generate a new one if I'd like. Um, we can go ahead and, and actually uh, go to Unsplash. If we want to get free featured images, I can just hit free Unsplash images. Uh, just type Miami here, and I can actually just find a free image here um, to add. So that's what I we went ahead and did for this article. Uh, just added a free image um, for this featured image. We can also generate them via AI. So, um, you know, very much in the same way, if I just hit Miami here, this is actually going to, this will cost a you know, small amount of credits, and it's actually going to start generating images uh, for you via AI which you can also add to your article as well. Um, so, you know, AI does its best. It's, it's getting better and better. So this actually looks a lot like uh, Miami. It looks like, you know, Rickenbacker Bridge, actually. So that's probably might be something it's sourcing from somewhere else. And if, if I want to insert that, uh, I can do that. I can just select the image and actually insert that into the post uh, or, or into the featured image, uh, sorry. Um, so if I come down to the post content, this is where you can actually add um, free Unsplash images and uh, AI images to your content as well to the post. Um, and because uh, we selected to add images to this post, it actually generated these via AI. Um, so it's always interesting what AI does in terms of images, but they're getting better and better, and it looks pretty, pretty legit um, in terms of what you might expect a tree trimming service in Miami to look like. Um, so as you can see, um, the content is written here. It is optimized. Um, it did add a lot of these keywords already to our content, um, you know, just using the AI. And um, so if I wanted to edit this in any way, if I wanted to edit some of the, you know, title tags, or if I wanted to add any of the, you know, H tags or alt tags, uh, anything I want, you can do that here. And then when you're done with this piece of content, you can go ahead and hit publish. And you have the option to either publish it right now, if you're connected to WordPress, of course, or, or Shopify, or I can hit later and I can schedule this post to be post, posted at a later date, right? In, including a time as well. And I can go ahead and hit schedule. And by doing so, um, I've now scheduled that post. So I could generate you know, a bunch of, of content and then schedule it all out and just take care of our content schedule um, for the week. So if I come to the content schedule, you're actually gonna see all the pieces of content that you've scheduled out here. Um, so we have one that's scheduled. Uh, you can actually reschedule that if you want. You can delete it. Um, you can also edit the API configuration here if you'd like, uh, and then the content history as well. Um, I can come here and I can actually see what's been posted already to our blog um, or our you know, Shopify blog, whatever. 
and I can hit view post and that's going to take me to the publish URL. So I, you know, we have a history of everything that's been published through the website. The last piece I want to show you is just the, uh, the reporting. So this is coming directly from, um, Google search console, like I had mentioned before. So basically, um, if you've connected Google search console, all of the keywords that are in your keyword groups, it's actually going to start tracking where you're ranking in Google. Um, for those and depending on the time interval, it's going to tell you um, if you know if you've gone up or down for those particular keywords I can also go to GSC data here and we're going to get a little bit more data about our website total impressions total clicks average rank We're also going to see some of the top uh, pages that are ranking for our website here and how they're doing in terms of impressions and rank um, as well and The last thing I want to show you is you can actually export a PDF report so um, this is something that you could give to clients. Um, this is something that you could just use internally. Um, and, and this is really great because it actually allows you to, to go through all your keyword groups. So if I have 10 keyword groups here, um, I can see how they're all doing uh, depending on the time interval. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that, open that document. And basically um, the way this looks is, is just pretty standard for, for an SEO report. You're gonna see the positions. If you have more groups, you're gonna see them all lined up here. Uh, we're going to get the same data we, we showed you earlier in terms of impressions and clicks. It's going to put out some different charts for you there, and it's going to show you uh, some of the top pages that are, you know, top 25 pages that are um, bringing in traffic for your website for that time interval. So that's just a, a quick overview. Um, you also have options to, you know, update your account, upgrade your account. Um, we have a help center that we're working on along with um, some live chat options. So you're going to have a lot of ways to contact support if you have any questions or um, you know, want to learn more about the product and that's, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we're really excited about what we're building here and we really think that this is going to be the future of SEO and, uh, we're happy to have you on board.